The French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo has a long history of poking fun at religion, particularly Islam. In 2005, a Danish newspaper first published a dozen defamatory cartoons depicting Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and in February 2006, Charlie Hebdo published these cartoons for the first time. And then in November 2011, Charlie Hebdo published an edition called Sharia Hebdo. It followed that up in September 2012, where it again published cartoons getting more inflammatory. After that, in January 2013, Charlie Hebdo published a series of cartoons titled The Life of Muhammad. At each instance there has been outrage by the Muslim Ummah. Then in 2015 a group of gunmen attacked the offices of Charlie Hebdo and on the eve of their trial the cartoons were republished. In September 2020 French President Emmanuel Macron said that Islam is at crisis and needs reform and that Muslims in France were responsible for Islamic separatism by refusing to integrate with wider society. In October this year, a teacher showed Charlie Hebdo cartoons to students in a school close to Paris and an 18-year-old of Chechnyan origin, Abdullah Anzorov, decapitated the teacher. The suspect was killed by police. In the wake, the French have taken the hatred for Islam to another level. France has broadcast derogatory cartoons on large buildings for 24 hours, reprinting the cartoons, making it a criminal act to criticize the printing of the cartoons. Merely expressing anger has been declared a criminal act. Over 70 masajid have been shut down. Schools, businesses, charity organizations, civil society organizations have been closed. The French secret police are arresting people left, right and center. In the wake of all of this, there has now been reports that two Muslim women were stabbed close to the Eiffel Tower on October the 21st, 2020 in an Islamophobic attack. Now there are approximately 5 million Muslims in France and they form 8,8% of the population. France has the largest number of Muslims in the Western world. This is due to migration of Muslims from Maghrib, West Africa and the Middle East. France had invaded these countries as colonial and imperial power and now they refuse to accept them as true citizens and Islam is a religion of France. Muslims live there as second-class citizens. Notwithstanding that, France continues with its hatred against Muslims, further planned measures to target Muslims, including the banning of Arabic language classes and restriction on the sale of halal goods. The planned measures are in addition to existing restriction on Muslim women's right to wear the Islamic headscarf and the niqab. The basic argument that the French present is that they are protecting their freedom of expression. And while they claim that freedom of expression is absolute, it's not really the case in France. It is illegal in France to question or ridicule the Holocaust. Any questions of denying the Holocaust is dealt with receiving a court sentence of a number of years. Jokes made by comedians are treated with fines of up to 10,000 euros, according to some recent estimates. So where is the freedom of speech? This is double standards. This is not about freedom of speech. Freedom of speech applies when a minority speaks to the majority. It applies when those who are bullied speak out against those who bully them. When truth is spoken to power, that is freedom of speech. When a president, supported by his army and police, acts against a minority, then it's simple thuggery, discrimination and hatred. Why is Macron doing this? France is suffering a long-term social crisis. Popular anger has reached boiling point in the form of street protests. In 2009, there were major demonstrations against pension reforms, fuel price hikes, police violence and unemployment. Last year, there was one of the longest public transport strikes in French history, which paralyzed the country. The killing of Samuel Paty had given the perfect opportunity for the far right to win back some ground. All that has transpired in France is extremely distressing to the Muslim Ummah. The love that Muslims have for Nabi Sallallahu is at the core of every Muslim's Iman. Every Muslim loves Nabi Sallallahu more than themselves. We can never tolerate blasphemy against our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We need to use this opportunity to do the following. Number one, identify Sunnah actions to introduce into our lives. Number two, increase in reciting Durood. Number three, study the life of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number four, make dua for the Muslim Ummah all over the world. And number five, boycott all French products. May Almighty Allah grant us true love for Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.